Good day, fishing fans in the Northeast. We're looking at um, the Northeast conditions via sea surface temperature and ocean color imagery. From the past two to three days, September 24th to 26th. So today is Tuesday, September 26th. Believe it or not, we're almost in October. However, uh, when weather permits, there are several good opportunities and the water is still plenty warm enough and close to shore is, is some, some decent conditions, believe it or not. So after this last blow, Yes, some of the inshore conditions have cooled off, we're not, but still we're like 67, 68, 69 degrees um, inshore. But what we have offshore is still the Gulf Stream water at 83, 84 degrees. And what is really remarkable, and we've been following this for the last couple of weeks to even, even the last two months, to be honest, is this Gulf Stream continues to push way up and in close to the canyons, Wilmington, all the way up to Linden Cole, Spencer even last week. Wilmington, Baltimore, Poor Man's Washington, Norfolk, that this Gulf Stream water, you can't see it really good this week. This last, it's been cloudy. It's been really cloudy for the last few days. And, you know, all of this dark blue water, all this dark blue and white are clouds and fog. But, again, you're looking at sea surface temperature, so you're looking at your red, orange is warmer water, your green and yellow is, is cooler water. But what we continue to notice, look at this water pushing up over the point also, this nice Gulf Stream edge. But what we've noticed over the last couple months is how the Gulf Stream has pushed way up and in, creating some really good opportunities for especially billfish and some mahi, wahoo, few tunas. It's not necessarily in this main Gulf Stream water, but it's in these Gulf Stream filament water. So this Gulf Stream filament water, by the way, still 70, 71, 72, 73, up to 76 degrees, as far inshore as 50, 60 fathoms and right into the canyons. And what we have here is that there's an eddy that's here a couple of days ago, and now it's up here, a Gulf Stream eddy pushing water further in, some, some filament water over Washington, um, north of Norfolk in the Baltimore Canyon. There is a counterclockwise eddy in this location, bringing some, this water here is 75, 76 degrees, 74, right offshore of Tom's, Tom's Canyon, Linden Cove, Carteret Canyon, there is a, a small counterclockwise eddy rotation here, bringing some water inshore, 40, 50 fathoms, you know, south of Montauk. What, what is kind of a mystery, and we're trying to figure out, it's been so cloudy the last few days, is where this big, remember this big clockwise eddy that we were tracking for all summer that's moved over, moved down into the, toward the, toward the New Jersey and Delaware Canyons. We don't know where this eddy might have gone. It might have disappeared. It might have dissipated. It looks like it could be, it could have shrunk and pushed inshore, or it could have gotten swallowed up by the main Gulf Stream, which is more, a little bit more believable as the Gulf Streams push so far up and in toward the bank and canyons that it might have, I mean, this eddy might have, might be right in this area and just got swallowed up by the Gulf Stream. Notice now the big, huge bulge to the south when you get offshore of Atlantis to Hydrographer Canyon, there's an eddy rotating right here. 
You can't see it real well, but there's another eddy of 68, 69, 70 degree water up over, actually, I think it's going this way, up over Hydrographer, Oceanographer Canyon. There's some decent water in here. You just can't see it real good due to the, due to the clouds. But what I want to emphasize is there's still plenty of decent water when the weather permits up toward the canyons. There's another, looks like I think there is a small rotation of water between Wilmington and Baltimore. I mean, we have water that's 70 degrees still, 68, 69, 70, 71 degrees, pushed all the way into 30, 40 fathoms in this area. And the Gulf, almost the main Gulf Stream water is pushed into 200, almost 100 fathoms over these canyons. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. And this still continues to look at look at down here. This Gulf Stream water is way inshore. We throw a line off of off of Ocacoke down south of Hatteras. So you're gonna hit the Gulf Stream water. Um, anyways, next we're gonna look at the, the corresponding ocean color chlorophyll data, which is also cloudy. But just keep in mind all these canyons here. Atlantis, Hudson, Block, you've got 70 degree water still, fishtails that are fishable um, for a number of different species still when weather permits. Next, we're going to look at the ocean color chlorophyll that you can't see a lot. Again, we get a lot of clouds here, a lot of fog. This is all clouds, fog. But what but what we notice is Let's see if I can get rid of this here. What we notice is a lot of blue Gulf Stream water pushed way up and in. There's that eddy right here. There's an eddy coming up right here, clock counterclockwise. But the Gulf Stream is pushed way up and in. And then that big bulge that's down here, preventing the Gulf Stream from going this way like normal, it's now bulging and pushing some water up in shore. So you might have some decent water here. Atlantis, Fishtails, Hudson, Fortuna, Swordfish will get better here in the next couple, in a month or so. Lots of green water off of, off of North Carolina. But once you get into these Gulf Stream filaments over Norfolk, down by the point here, um, still some good fishing. Lots of sailfish. There's been lots of sailfish caught all the way, even all the way up in these northern canyons. There's still sailfish up in this area. But let's, because of all these clouds, we've had lots of trouble with clouds in the last four to five, six days. Um, these, these images here I've put together are composite of, you know, three to four days to get this, this clear. This is a good time to introduce what we have on our analysis. Every single one of our analysis, we produce and include a cloud-free sea surface temperature forecast on what the conditions should look like the next day in our analysis. So this is conducted by our partner, Fathom Science. It's a model data. It, it's not perfectly accurate like the sea surface temperature and ocean color satellite data, that Roths use, but it's an inclusion of the cloud-free uh, model data on what the conditions are close to what they look like for the next day. And you, what you notice is what you're looking at is you're looking for these main edges, you're looking for these eddy features, and you're looking for the color changes in the actual image to give you the better general location on where to go fish that next morning. So we use this quite regularly and we've done some research and validation and clarification on how these models that Fathom Science provide are the most accurate available. And we use them in our analysis to give you a better idea, what, especially when it's really cloudy, on where the general better conditions are offshore for you guys. And notice, it was totally cloudy out here, but you can see where that eddy of 68, 69, 70 degree water is up over oceanographer to hydrographer canyon. 
And what the corresponding ocean color chlorophyll data shows the same thing, a cloud-free rec um, rendition of the ocean conditions. It's, it's a model aspect, but it's one of the most accurate models out there on where these, where the greener and bluer water is going to be the next day. So when it's really cloudy, we rely on this data to give you the good general locations on where to fish. That's a good takeaway on these on these Fathom Science model data. But for the here and now, lots of clouds. The wind has picked up over this past weekend. Hopefully it's ready to calm down so you can get some fishing in this weekend on these conditions because the Gulf Stream is not, the Gulf Stream warmer water is still in a lot of these canyon areas for you guys to fish. The, mar the marlin might be starting to head south a little bit, thinking about, but there's still a lot of billfish in these waters, I, I imagine. And tuna and dolphin will hang out for, for another month or so if the conditions are right and the conditions seem to be right. So stay tuned to Ross. Thank you for your time. I've rambled on enough. Hopefully you learned something today. And give us a call. Visit our website. Take care.